This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Today I want to talk about using Office 365 Excel design tables in 2019 SOLIDWORKS. There is a problem. Recently I got a new laptop with Windows 10 and they installed Office 365. Everything worked fine right up to the point where I tried to show design tables for a, a training class. The technical term is no worky turkey. I queried our tech support department and Mr. Ryan Dark, who is a reigning monarch and director of tech support services nationwide for Go Engineer, came back with an explanation. Office 365 isn't supported by SOLIDWORKS and has been known to work or not work depending on the day. You will have to install Office 2016 to be compatible with SOLIDWORKS. Quote unquote. There is a workaround. We can make this work. It's not the most elegant solution, but it's very similar to bringing in a, an existing spreadsheet and inserting it into SOLIDWORKS with the Insert Design Table menu. If I try to open a design table here, Insert Design Table, what do I want? I got three choices, blank, auto created from file. I'll just say blank and say OK. Normally, Excel opens up at the top. I've got the Excel toolbar and Excel design table here in the upper portion of my graphics window. Notice that didn't happen. We need to fix this. So what I have found is that if I open a blank spreadsheet first and save it, things work much better. So I'll come down and I'll find Excel and I just want to open a blank worksheet. If I try to make this work, the only thing that works properly at this point in time is I can copy names and paste them as column headings over here in my blank sheet. And that's what you have to do when you use an existing spreadsheet. You have to use these as column headings, so it'd be leg one at sketch one. If this is flown out, I can select that and I can select the whole thing from right here. Control C, or maybe I can right click and pick copy, sure. And I can come over here and paste it in as a column heading, paste. So there it is. And then I've got to put in my values. I've got to put in my configurations here in column A, put the rest of my things in here. That's a lot of work. Let's just undo that. I found that an easier way to do this is to save my spreadsheet right up front. So click Save send this someplace like to my desktop or someplace that I would normally put this. I'll just name this special, save. Up to this point, it still doesn't work. If I double click on something over here, it tries to change the dimension. It does not put my dimensions and stuff up here. I would like that to happen because that's a much simpler way than trying to copy and paste. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to close my spreadsheet now and I'm going to insert Tables, Design Table, from File. I want to link this to the file so that it will always update correctly and browse and go find this and uh, open that. Well, so far nothing's happened, right? If I say OK, now it opens up my Excel spreadsheet and if I try to double click and put things over there, nothing happens still. So what I need to do now is to close this. It says no valid table instances were found. Okay, there are none. Dismiss that. Here's the table now. If I right click here now and edit table, I get this up. This is what comes up normally. There we go. So now I have saved this, closed it, inserted it into SOLIDWORKS, it opens it again, then I closed it again. Now it's ready to go. If I double click now on a dimension, it puts it right over here in the column. Whoa, good deal. Uh, let's go to the next one. Now I've got two of them. Yeah, next one, right on around the mulberry bush. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. And then I can format my sheet and make this work. So now I can put in some configuration names, one, two, three, dash, one, SOLIDWORKS and Excel work nicely together. So I can just copy this down and make multiple configurations names here. Just by copying it down, it increments the name for me automatically. Then I can populate my spreadsheet. If you don't do it this way, this does not work with Office 365. Now, that being said also, one of the other 
applications engineers here in the office that I'm assigned to has this virtually the same machine, the same setup, and his works fine. Remember the statement from Ryan Dark. It has been known to work or not on any given day. If yours doesn't work, open a blank spreadsheet, give it a name, close it, import it into SolidWorks, close it again, and then right-click on the design table in your configuration manager tree and edit your design table and then you can just double click on things and send it over there. Say I want to uh, control a feature. I can go to the feature tree here and double click on a feature and have it go right here and then I can add that in also suppressed or unsuppressed, turn it on, turn it off from one configuration to the next. An easy way to do things to get the job done. Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer at Go Engineer.